Time has been literally standing still in one Long Island community. A public clock has been broken for years, and now there's a fix in the works in the form of a private donation and a public statement. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports from Long Beach. Time has done a number on this once grand clock outside the Long Beach LIRR station. There's two different times. It's the wrong time. The time is off. It's 25 year old hands frozen after decades of storms. Do you have any idea when it stopped working? I think about 10 25. Right? The date, I can't tell you. But for Harvey Wiesenberg, it's not just about time to get it fixed, it's about respect. It's a police memorial, and I don't want them ever to be forgotten. He paid for the clock in 1990. And dedicated it to the timeless tradition of law enforcement. It's a thank you to police or police officers. The pledge that you take to, pr to protect life and property, delivering babies, having people die in my arms. It's public service. And Wiesenberg knows firsthand about service. Board. A former police officer himself, a lifeguard still at the age of 86, and a yes. former New York State Assemblyman. To him, a clock dedicated to police must not stand broken. Well, that's the city's responsibility, and they really should maintain with, when we give something that they maintain it. But they didn't, and they wouldn't. They have no money. So I said, well, before I die, I'm going to have this thing done. Harvey, like he always does, stepped up and said, you know what, how much do you need? Bid the clock, and he walked in here a couple days ago with the check. With $26,000 again from his own pocket, he'll purchase a new 17-foot steel waterproof clock. Wiesenberg believes it's always time to do something good. We were brought up that way to help people and do good things to make people have a better life as best as you can. The public clock should be installed this spring in time, Wiesenberg hopes, for New York State Police Memorial Day, which was created by legislation he sponsored. In Long Beach, Long Island, Carolyn Gossoff, CBS 2 News. Fantastic generosity. The clock parts could not be replaced because the original manufacturer is out of business. The city of Long Beach will do the installation.